Um, that, um, this reminds me that tomorrow it would be really great if you guys each brought an envelope, a piece of stationary envelope, and a piece of stationery because we're going to make a little Deals Alder model out of it. I'm going to try to bring some in myself. Um, what we were doing in Deals Alder class last, on Wednesday was we were studying the, um, the regiochemistry of the reaction. And what we had said in class is that the ortho and para dominates over the um, meta products, the ortho or para. So, for example, we had looked at reactions like this, for example, this one. I'll do a slightly different version. So say you had this. And what we were talking about in class was the fact that there were actually two orientations for this reaction. So one product that you might make would be, my New Year's resolution is to have better handwriting. I don't think I'm succeeding here, but I'm trying. That was one product that we could obtain, but there was another product with this flipped over in which you would obtain this. and this. And this is the so-called para product. Notice in this case it's a para, and this one's an ortho. And what I was trying to explain to you in class was this idea that um, this kind of group is really an electron donating group. And I wanted to give you a little bit of a sense of the alignment. And I think this one's a little easier to write in terms of resonance forms. So I said you could justify the fact that the para is the major product because of resonance arguments. And we could justify it doing resonance on the diene and writing out resonance forms for the dienophile. So let's, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to write them. Now this one is a little easier. Now remember, what we said in class is that these lone pairs are allylic. And because they're allylic, they have some, you know, orbital relationship with the pi bond, okay? So similar to an anion, I could take this pair of electrons and push them in and then out on this carbon. Now interestingly enough, in this particular case, this is the only way I can, the only res reasonable resonance form I can draw. So my resonance form is gonna look like this. With a negative charge on the end carbon and a positive charge on the oxygen, okay? Now, this, this resonance hybrid tells the story of the diene. And again, make the contrast for this one versus the one I did in class where the electron donating group was on this position instead of the inner position. Now, this is what we, we talked, we, used in, we described in class as electronic push. And remember, the electrons can be moving this way through the um, pi system, even though they're moving that way through the sigma system. As far as the dienophile goes, um, there's only one way to deal with this, because think about it, the lone pairs on the oxygen are not allylic, they're vinylic, so they're not part of the resonance system. So the only thing you can do here is flip pi electrons around. And we're going to practice that a little bit tomorrow. But the logical way to push these electrons would be toward the oxygen. So I'm taking just the pi electrons and moving them through. And what I end up with is the following. I end up with a negative charge on this O. And I still think people have to work on their charges. I think people do not know how to do charges. Now if you look at this, the story this little resonance form is telling is that there's some delta minus on that carbon. And the story this resonance form is telling me is there's a little plus on that. In other words, the electrons are kind of draining toward that oxygen. That being the case, it would be more logical. Let's get rid of these extra forms. I hope you have them down. It would be more logical to line... this piece up here, the delta plus lined up with the delta minus. The other alignment, I hope this is looking a little more simple now, simpler now than in class, 
The other alignment would, al would put the delta plus far from the delta minus. So the way these are going to line up is so that their dipoles are comp complementary, delta minus with delta plus. And this alignment, you will see, leads to the para product. Okay, so that's a little bit about resonance. Um, again, what you're going to do is if you have a diene that has lone pairs that are, are allylic, you're going to be able to move those lone pairs through the pi system. By contrast, if you have a traditionally electron withdrawing group, you're going to take the pi bond and move it out toward the electronegative atom. And we'll try to practice that a little bit tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow we have a quiz. The quiz is strictly on epoxide opening, okay? So focus on that in your studying for now. But I still think you need to go back and learn how to make epoxides. That's going to be important to you in your future. Okay, I'll see you in class.